Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. My name is Psycho Gold, this is Psycho Gold Videos, and today we are checking out Mob Psycho 100 Episode 7. Last time on Mob Psycho 100 we had the bombshell dropped that Mob's brother also in fact has some psychic powers. Now we know nothing about the strength of his abilities other than the fact that spoons best beware. For he totally messed that spoon up. Um, and now he can also see ghosts as we've just seen at the end of this of this episode of the last episode um, It would appear that dimple is still alive well alive um, And is somehow and is somehow on track to be back in the show which makes sense considering he's in the opening I was surprised how quickly he uh, Was got rid of basically once I realized that he was the guy from the opening um, So I'm very curious to see what happens in this episode I don't have a clue where this episode's going to go, I don't know what direction we're going to head in next, so without further ado, let's just jump straight into it and enjoy the episode and then try and work out what's going on from there. So without further ado, 3, 2, 1, go. Yep, yeah, this is literally where the last one ended. Oh, okay. Not white tea poison. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, okay, so now he's got other people who will want to uh, go after him. Interesting. Uh, Bandai! <laughs> Exaltation. I've obtained loss? Oh, so that's what happened. <laughs> okay, there's some similarities now between him and his brother. You can see them at last. No, don't listen to him, dude. That's... Yeah, I was gonna say, he wants to possess you. So is he gonna try and teach him? This is an interesting episode. Didn't think he would... Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so he has an aura as well now. Well, yeah, so I was right. <coughs> he did have latent psychic powers. Yeah. I wonder then how he's going to, uh, how powerful he can actually become. Like, he's still sick, he clearly can't control his powers. Oh dear. His personality is definitely changing, alright. He's going down the dark path. <laughs> oh, he's completely different. <laughs> oh, the gust of wind nearly knocked his uh, wig off. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Well, the thing is, my, my, my boy, is that uh, your brother beat him literally with no effort, so you clearly aren't in your brother's league. At least not yet. But that is very worrying, um, that he's choosing to go down this dark path. In the words of Yoda, once you start, forever will it dominate your destiny. He, he just goes off with anybody who talks to him, doesn't he? Why would a kid have 800,000 yen? 
Oh, she's trying to get him to break it. I see. <laughs> oh, this should be interesting. One con man to another. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he can. Oh, go on. Keep adding up the costs. It's going to equal the same amount as the uh, values, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Wait. 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 That wasn't mob. Oh, that's uh, insulting. I don't think this is going to end the way he wants it to. No, it wasn't. That was not self defense. Oh, okay. That escalated quickly. <laughs> oh, feel the burn. I was gonna say, look at him. Does he look like white tea poison? His personality is going off the deep end, man. Mm -mm. I wouldn't mess with him, Dimple. Something's properly broken inside of him at the moment. I think he's gonna end up erasing you the second he doesn't need you anymore. Oh, he's gonna tell him. Okay. Oh, it's the adult. Okay. Ow. Yep. Yep. He's broken. Apart from the fact that you're being watched by someone that I think is going to be able to beat you. Oh, that's why the name of the episode is I've Obtained Loss. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. okay. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Mob Psycho 100 Episode 7. Also ending on a very big cliffhanger. So the next episode could be very interesting, depending on how that episode goes. Um, don't really know. I mean, unless he's gained power redonkulously quick, there's no way he can be as strong as Mob, so... And the fact, well, oh, I wonder if Mob is also going to find out that Dimple is still around and what his reaction to that would be, but never mind that. Mob's going to come to grips with the fact that his brother now has psychic powers and he's not exactly using them in the best way possible, which is quite 
depressing when you think about it. The fact that the con artist that uh, he works for does a better job of teaching him right from wrong than his whole family seems to have had on his brother. Like, him using his psychic powers really has seemed to have made him go down this dark path and his personality has changed. I mean, even Dimple said it and it's kind of like... Did his personality change, or has this always been his personality? Um, and the fact that he didn't have his psychic powers is why he's nice. He's kind of like acting. Um, and he's always had these darker emotions, but he's never addressed them. And now that his psychic powers have come out in, in the, his emotions. Kind of like Mob, really, when you think about it. Mob doesn't deal with his emotions very well. Um, are they more similar than they care to admit? I don't know, I guess we'll have to find out. The episode itself, though, I thought was really good, seeing him come to grips with his psychic abilities and, you know, he's not really doing anything himself yet, he's kind of having to be merged with Dimple, so it's interesting to see that when the two of them combine, they can become fairly powerful, but they're still not that strong. Obviously, they got schooled by, uh, I can't think of his name, but the guy with the blonde hair uh, from the other school. And I thought that was really nice that he wasn't just a throwaway character, he came back in this episode and the fact that he was able to so effortlessly defeat Shinji just means that, you know, Shinji's powers are not anywhere near the level of mobs. Um, so that I thought was a nice little touch that we got to see them. I also like the fact that everyone seems to have their own kind of aura. We've had the, that adult psychic whose face is always obscured, his was clearly red. Um, Mobs is blue, uh, the blonde dudes is yellow, but Shinji seems to be a weird mix of purple and blue. I thought that was because Dimple was possessing him at first, but that seems to be his aura anyway. Um, almost like a mix between, you know, it's kind of bluish like Mobs, but it's also got this dark uh, purple edge to it, which I think is representative of the fact that his powers, um, they don't seem to be coming from a very good place. That might not be the only way he can channel his powers, but it's the only way he knows how, so he's just doubling down on doing everything that he knows he shouldn't. I also really like the way that he's now become a bit manipulative in his own right, the way he was dealing with the student council uh, leader. I also like the fact that we saw the rest of the student council recognize that this, you know, he really shouldn't be in charge, and it seemed like they were going to try and do something about it. Um, but yeah, like the way that he was, you know, he doesn't care about him in the slightest is so different to the Shinji that we've had in the other in the earlier episodes. I'm very curious to see where it goes from here. And I think that's gonna about do it from me today guys. So if you enjoyed this episode, as always, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this episode. If you're new around here, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you'd like to see the rest of Mob Psycho 100, as always they are available over on Patreon for your enjoyment right now. That's going to be it for me though dudes, as always, I'm Psycho Gold and I will see you in my next video. Psycho Gold, out.